What is going on guys? It is Connor Plays here and I am going to be doing a little bit of a world tour. My old 1.5 uh, 01 beta world that I was working on a couple years ago and I decided why not? Why not make a video showcasing all the different stuff I did in this world and um, I'm going to overview a few things. Um, I did add two mob spawners and I world edited in like a couple towers when I was done playing the world like eight, like months later <clears throat> just to make it look a little bit cooler. That's um, But anyways, I was kind of going for a little bit of like a medieval type village. It all started with this, um, this little abode over here, and pretty much everything in this world is legit. I mean, there's not much that I did to really cheat besides just put two spawners in. And originally, I didn't have those spawners in. I originally had a if you look down here. See all those mobs spawning down there? That's the uh, a mob farm I did. Got wrecked. So yeah, it's like a big mob, bunch of mob spawning pads down there. I'm a little too afraid to go down there, to be quite frank. I'll probably die. But, yeah. So I had originally a mob spawner, the Etho one, um, from 1.501. They were pulled up through the Etho little elevator, same one Etho made. And then eventually I got tired of not having gunpowder. And this was months, months after playing it originally. And I created a little... A little cheese farm through in um, a little creeper. Ah, don't kill me. Ooh. Ooh. Warfare. All right. Anyways, <clears throat> so this was originally my, my humble little abode. I tried to do, as you can see, some spawners for pigs here. That didn't even work. So, that was a waste of my time, but, uh, yeah, no mods, just a little bit of world edit here and there. Nothing crazy, not even world edit, but, uh, oh yeah, world edit. See edit, maybe would be the correct term. But, my diamonds are legit, I will be straight up loud as heck. Okay. It's actually too loud. Okay, so this is my little storage room. Um, I just collected a bunch of crap here. All the different stuff I'd get from my, my zombie area. I had my own little... Little furnace bedroom. Kind of strange, to be quite frank. Had a little cactus farm, and... This goes up, and I was planning on expanding and creating like a little... Area up here, but... Never got around to it. Then go out into the world a bit more and actually see it. Just in this building. That was just my original home survival base, so it's kind of nice to show off. These are some of the first towers I built. Um, nothing about them are too crazy. It's just because it was in survival. It took me quite some time to collect everything and put it all together. But uh, yeah, I wanted to have like. A real interesting base with tons of different stuff going on. For instance, like this waterfall I was supposed to be. It's a secret waterfall, but it looks kind of crappy. <laughs> but I would come up, and there was like this whole upper section to my base. You wouldn't really know about. Came up here. Secret. That's not. There is a ladder where this is going to take me. But mostly everything in the world's connected by uh, by mine, tra mine tracks and such. Oh. This is one of my world edit ones, clearly. See, it's just pasted up here. Cut into the blocks. <laughs> And a couple of these towers are world edited, but everything in between was placed. Kind of got bored with the world after a while. Made this bridge. 
And another tower. Which connects to... This tower was not world edited in. As far as I can remember. But this is the, the tower with um, my portal in it. You can kind of see a little bit more of the city I built over here. I don't know if I have... Um, I know this is going to break it, but I don't really care. I'm just going to take my minecart. Get out of here. This stuff drives us insane. So this would take us into this house. Oh, wait, no. Go back and show them the house. Anyways, this is one of my like nice little humble abodes I built. Nothing crazy here. <clears throat> and then this continued on two different directions. So this one would take us back to my original base. Yeah. This right here had a couple different ways to get back. So this is where we're at. We're next to this area here. In here, I had a little train system set up. So down would be for the zombie farm and the obsidian mine, and up would be for the sand farm. A little secret passage way to get back to my base. But this is a whole separate track that takes you to the to the nether portal. So for instance, if we wanted to go to the sand farm, place my card in. Shit, apparently it gets stuck. Kind of nuts. Okay. Place it. This is going to send me up here. It gives you a nice little view of the uh, overall castle and stuff together. Tower is here. Oh, straight underground, I guess. And, uh, yeah, this was where I would collect my sand. And it also gives you a nice view. The castle. You know? And I felt like this one usually felt pretty nice to look at. We'll get a little bit of a closer view of the external parts of this. I don't know what's going on with that wood design on that wall, but it's all messed up. But yeah, this was one of my first, like, revisiting worlds. I was planning on building um, a whole village out here of these guys. Got around to it. This track won't work until I go back into the base. And I'm not going to use this track yet. Just because it takes us all the way down to the mine. Most boring part of the build, pretty much. I don't want this video to be too long. It's not that interesting. But, nonetheless, I'll take you on a little tour of all the excess buildings. Built lots of random, unnecessary building bookshelves and complete empty rooms and empty rooms. That's an empty one. Bunch of random houses. These ones are a bit nicer. They actually have interior grass floor. <laughs> Market. Uh, I had a little stall over here. This is another track that you could take to get over here. Yeah, nothing too crazy. And then. This was originally a tree farm, that's why it looks funky. Yeah, for the most part, this was the town slash city that I built. Kind of ominous. No villagers, no nothing that you could put here. Feels weird. Not gonna lie. Dead version of the game. Really, anyone plays. Figured I might as well make a video showcasing it. But uh, to end it off, we'll just take a quick little joyride 
over to the mine. Mines of Moria. Okay, come on, dude. That redstone just switches the gears right there, so changes the tracks around. Swaps which way I'm going. Terrible little track. I never even made it fancy. But yeah. Pretty cool. Always looks so creepy with like the fog low. But this is how I would, I guess, get to my mine. Why I would do this, I I actually don't know what the purpose was of making it so damn far away. But I guess maybe this is one of the better mines. This is the craziest, one of the craziest, like, systems I've ever fucking made. I literally put it inside of a cave. Followed the cave. Fucking way. Look at this. Oh, it doesn't work anymore. Oh, no. Oh no! What I, you know? Give me you. Someone do that. All right. Um. Oh, it's for that. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Well, that doesn't. You need to go this way. No. <laughs> See, I don't understand that. That's crazy. Whatever. Anyways. Way to end the video, dude. Takes you all the way down into this underground chamber. My trip. It's easier to follow the dang rail. I have to deal with this. This is so funny. Broke. I noticed I lost all my items when I updated my account to Microsoft. This takes you all the fucking way down. One of the deepest caves ever. This is the Mines of Moria. Have uh, a skeleton spawner here, I believe. Yeah, that's about it. Just some regular mines. But yeah, so that's my Minecraft world. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's uh, gotten a little bit longer than I anticipated. But yeah, wanted to show this off because I probably won't play this world much anymore unless somebody wants to. I could definitely update this world and make it crazier. But um, yeah, I just would need uh, some feedback. So anyways, catch you all around. Uh, see you next time.